Today we are going to discuss the topic agreement of the verb with the subject. A finite verb agrees with its subject in number and person. This is the basic rule that we have studied in our previous classes with regards to the agreement of the verb with the subject. But today we are going to learn a few more rules which will help us to speak and write English well. The first rule that we are going to discuss today is two or more singular subjects joined by and take a plural verb. Two or more singular subjects joined by and take a plural verb. For example, Mohel and I are great friends. Are not your father and mother out of town? Raman and Harry work hard. Namda, Lily and Sheila go to the same school. All these examples clearly depict two or more singular nouns or pronouns joined by and take plural verb. But this particular rule has got certain exceptions. For example, if two nouns suggest only one idea or refer to the same person or thing, the verb must be singular. For example, slow and steady wins the race. Bread and butter is a wholesome food. The horse and carriage is at the door. So in these examples, we see that the nouns are taken as one idea or refer to the same person. When we say slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady we have taken together or bread and butter, it always goes together. We said, when two singular subjects joined by and refer to the same person or thing, the verb is in the singular. For example, my friend and guide is dead. Here we have to note that if the article is used once, if the article is used once in that sentence, the two nouns refer to the same person or thing and the verb used is singular. But if the article is used twice, the two nouns refer to the different persons or things and the verb used is plural. For example, the poet and the statesman have come. Here the poet and the statesman are two different persons. Another rule is that words joined to a singular subject by with or as well as do not affect the number of the verb. The verb therefore is in the singular. For example, the captain with all his men was drowned. See, the words joined to a singular subject by with or as well as do not affect the number of the verb. The captain with all his men was drowned. Here the subject is captain. Though we see 
men near to the verb that is not the subject the subject here is the captain so we have used singular verb was see the second example in that section the house with its furniture was burned here the subject is the house not furniture so now we go to the next rule when two or more subjects in the singular are joined by or nor either either or neither nor the verb is put in the singular for example jack or tom is to blame one of them jack or tom is to blame either raman or anil was absent either lily mary or she has passed neither peter harry nor john was present so in all these sentences we see that when we compare subjects that is noun or pronouns joined by or nor either or neither nor they have singular verb but there are also certain exceptions let us see if one of the subjects is in the plural the verb must be in the plural the plural subject is placed nearer the verb if one of the subjects in the sentence is in the plural the verb must be in the plural and the plural subject has to be placed nearer the verb for example the farmer or his servants were caught the farmer is a third person singular his servants that is third person plural so these two nouns are joined by or so the plural noun is placed near the verb and used plural verb see another example neither tom nor his friends have come here tom is singular friends plural and this plural noun is placed near the verb have and have is a plural verb and another thing that we have to keep in mind with regards to this subject verb agreement when a plural noun comes between a singular subject and its verb the verb is often wrongly made to agree with the nearest plural noun so we should guard against such an error for example the state of affairs is sure to cause him anxiety the state of affairs here we have to see the subject here in the sentence is the state the subject is state and not affairs so we are to use singular verb a course of lectures was arranged here we are not supposed to use where though lectures 
comes near the verb, the actual subject of the sentence is a cause. So such error of proximity should be avoided. Then we have noticed when the subjects joined by or or nor are of different persons, the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. This is another rule that we have to keep in mind. We have already studied that when we use two or more subjects in the singular joined by or or nor, either or, neither nor, we had to use singular verb. But here we are coming to a different situation. When the subjects joined by or or nor are of different persons, first person, second person, third person. So, different persons, the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. See the example. Either he or I am to blame. So there are two pronouns. He or I. Here I come near to the verb. So we have used am. See another example. Either you or he.